Hello, YouTube. Welcome to another installment in Buying Golden Age Comics for the Half a Price of Gas. This is a true half a price of gas in here. And this is a very valuable book inside that I won from eBay. So I want to show you, I'm going to show you the condition and we're going to talk about it. But there are steals out there if you're not concerned about condition. Before we open it up, I want to promote my good friend Mike Carbo's Big Apple Comic Con. This is going to be on November 23rd in New York City. Look it up. And if you are in the area, I would definitely go check it out. This is going to be an old school comic show, and I'm really looking forward to going. I will be there. So if you're going to stop by, shoot me a message on the message board on this upload. Let me know if you're going. Maybe we'll meet up, say hello, have a little chat or so. And it's going to be a wonderful event. So the Big Apple Comic Con, November 23rd. 2024 check it out online it's going to be a good show it's going to be a great show not a good show i don't like the word good in explaining great things it's going to be a great show or an awesome show we can use that word so what are we going to do let's open this up and let's check it out and this is truly a half a tank of gas what i paid for this book it's a win off of ebay and it is a Golden Age book from 1942. So this goes back really a long time ago. Very, very long, long time ago. When things were different in the world. Not like today. You like my singing? You like the Jerry the Jitterbug singing? I'm filming this and tonight is election night so i am excited to see how things turn out for this country i'm not gonna say who i supported because this is a comic book channel it's not a political channel but you know what why don't you guess why don't you leave in the comments who do you think jerry the jitterbug supports who do you think i voted for in the 2024 presidential election and maybe you say who you voted. If you, I won't hold it against you if you voted in the other can for the other candidate that I didn't vote for. It's no big deal. That's why we live in a wonderful big country called the United States, and people are free to vote for who they want. And just because you may have a different candidate that you supported and voted for doesn't mean that I cannot be your friend. Doesn't mean that I cannot speak to you kindly. Doesn't mean that I cannot listen to your views. And if they differ from mine, that's okay. That's political discourse going back and forth. The problem with politics is when it delves into hatred or when it uh, dives into hatred, where another person's position is taken with animosity, where you say, I cannot be friends with that person because they are the other side of the spectrum or the other political party. That's not how it should be. It should be that you should be able to discuss political issues in a nice, calm fashion and listen to the other person. And, and again, if you don't agree, that's really not something that should ruin a relationship. It's just you disagree. I like the old saying, let's agree to disagree. And that's it. So let's get rolling enough of the political talk, Jerry. And I don't think that was bad what I said. I think it's, I think it's lessons that people should live off of what I'm saying. I think it is something that would make a better society in our country. Things are getting a little too aggressive for me, and I don't like it. I don't like if you have a lawn sign up supporting a candidate and someone will come and rip it off and start yelling at you and cursing and spitting and all crazy stuff. And I'm not pointing 
to one party versus the other. I'm just saying this generally. I, I It's not a good situation, in my opinion. So this was wrapped up very well, and I'm in the process, as you can see, of taking off the tape, which I don't like when this tape is being used. So you have to be very careful in doing it. And we're peeling the layers like an onion. And here you go, you got the glimpse of the book. Let me see if I can rip it out. Bum, bum, bum. That is Captain Marvel Adventures. It is number, number six. That is an early Captain Marvel Adventures. And now when I buy books from sellers, ugh, I don't know where that plastic's been. So I like to take it out of the plastic. And once I take it out of the plastic, I throw out the plastic and the back of board because I don't, I don't want to touch it. I don't know where it's been. And, and I'm not saying that sellers of comics are dirty or anything like that, but it's just, you know, my thing. I like to put it in a new bag and board. So that goes in the garbage. So what do we got here, guys? Look at this. It's Captain Marvel Adventures number six. And like I said before, it's from January 1942. Now I'm caressing this book because I love the cover. It's such a classic cover if you are a Captain Marvel or a Golden Age fan that you can't go wrong with this book. And it shows all the Greek gods that gives Shazam his power. We have Solomon, Hercules, Atlas, Zeus, Achilles, and Mercury. How awesome is this book? This is a very valuable book, guys. In fact, right now, there is a 3.0 Pedigree CGC. I think it's the Promise Collection. They're asking $1,155. Now, they're asking, and it's a Pedigree, so they're going to ask a premium. There's one on eBay now, a 4.5. They're asking 675. Again, asking just because you ask doesn't mean you're going to get it. But the last example I'm going to give is is a 3.5 right now that's sold or it's not right now. It was on eBay and it sold recently for 600 bucks. So this is a big book and as you can see there's tape all over this book. And when I saw it on eBay, I felt bad because sometimes I do feel bad for these books and they don't deserve to have tape all over them like this. And I said to myself, self, I want to get this book and I want to try to put it in as best condition as I possibly could. And that's why I bought it. So we're going to try to remove all of this tape. We're going to do our best doing it. We're going to we're going to give it a shot because even if we have some graphic loss in relation to the tape cuz it's been there for quite some time it looks like it's better than having the tape on and if we have a few little pieces that come off, okay, what are you going to do? It's not a perfect world. Okay? The other issue with the book is that it is missing the first two wraps. So right off the get-go, I want to say to you that this is a perfect candidate for a conservation. Because if you're missing pages, and even if you find the pages in a book that is coverless or an incomplete book, it's very rare and very difficult to line pages up with the donor book to the existing book just by the fact that when these books were manufactured and cut back in the day, not one was the same, in my opinion, to the other. Each one was unique. Each one was cut differently. Each one, the staples were placed in differently. So it's very hard to have everything line up perfectly. 
and that is why it's going to be a conserved grade. So the question is if it's going to be a conserved grade, like what's going on here? See, I think right here, I don't know if this is tape holding this together, but whoever went over this book with the tape, they really had a lot of fun putting tape all over. And let's thumb through it. Let's just get a beautiful look into history from 1942. Let's, it, it, the pages are a little, I wouldn't say super brittle, but they're not as supple as I would like, but we can fix that. And let's just go through, and look at this, wow. I never saw Captain Marvel dressed up. He's drinking, looks like liquor, beer, wow. He looks pretty handsome without his red outfit on. So look at all of these pages. This is just a wonderful book. And I hope you're enjoying me perusing the pages. And I'm really looking for something that may illustrate some World War II, some World War II graphics or pictures. Look at that, a skull. So this is a rough book, but when I get them rough like this, I love getting them rough because for me, it is just a simple decision whether to conserve. And check that out. One of the staples just popped off right here. So we got a staple. We'll, let's keep that in there and we'll remember it for the future. There is a staple. Look at this Master Comics right here. That's not even a Master Comics page it's just artwork and we're going through another captain marvel story just amazing so i hope you guys are enjoying the perusal and hopefully the other staple is snuck into it look at this look at these pages falling apart this is just such a perfect a perfect mission for me and whether we're gonna leaf cast it or not, I don't know. Maybe I'll just take the tape off and we'll lay everything perfectly and we'll send it off to CGC. So that's it, guys. I hope you are enjoying these, the series of purchasing or buying Golden Age comics for half a tank of gas. Obviously, this book has seen better days, but we're gonna work hard on it to make it a little bit nicer for future generations. Appreciate your support. Thank you for stopping by and stay tuned.